దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఈస్ ఐఓటీ బేస్డ్ మైనింగ్ ట్రాకింగ్ అండ్ వర్కర్ సేఫ్టీ హెల్మెట్ హియర్ హార్డ్వేర్ కనెక్షన్ సార్ ఆడినో అండ్ ఇట్స్ డాటర్ బోర్డ్ అలాంగ్ విత్ పవర్ సప్లై సిక్స్ బై టూ యాసిడ్ డిస్ప్లే వైఫై మోడల్ ఈఎస్పి ఎయిట్ టూ డబల్ సిక్స్ కన్సెట్ టు ఆడినో ఇయర్ పోర్ట్ హియర్ దిస్ టూ ఆర్ఫిడ్ రీడర్స్ కన్సెట్ టు ఆడినో ఇయర్ పోర్ట్స్ దిస్ టూ ఆర్ఫిడ్ రీడర్స్ ప్లేసడ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ మైనింగ్ ఏరియా ఇన్ వేరియస్ రూట్స్ వి క్యాన్ కన్సిడర్ దిస్ టూ ఆర్ఫిడ్ రీడర్స్ ఫర్ టూ లొకేషన్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు ది మైన్ మైనర్ నీడ్స్ టు స్వైప్ కార్డ్ టు ది సెట్ హిజ్ లొకేషన్ here these two rf wireless transmitter placed on helmets of mine workers they can inform to server when they need any emergency rf receiver connected to arduino digital pins and it can receive signal from rf transmitter here rf transmitter nothing but helmet before going to start this project we have to create hotspot in our mobile with the username iot server and password iot server 123 now we have to create hotspot we can see here network name iot server and password iot server 123 save mobile should have internet through the same now power on this we can see here on lcd m1 means main 1 and m2 means main 2 now we have to open server here server url is project factory server.in now we have to open server we can see here url project factory server.in and it is asking username and password here username is server 40 and password server 40 here we have two rfid records minor 1 and minor 2 and we have two locations we can see here location 1 and location 2 if we swipe the rfid record on location 1 here we can see minor 1 at min 1 here u means data according to the server if you are swipe minor 2 at location 1 minor 2 at min 1 u means data uploaded to the server same like that if you swipe minor 1 at location 2 minor 2 we can see here we have two rf transmitters this one for minor 1 if you are putting in left side that means it is enable mode if you are putting in right side that means it is in disable mode if miner has any emergency then he wants to send alerts to the server then he has to press this button for at least 3 seconds then alerts will be sending to the server continuously now we will see the output we can see here led on on lcd we can see u means data uploaded into the server
if he wants to send alerts message not continuously then he has to put the on disable mode now we have to press this again this button for 3 seconds that means this allows only one time to server again we have to put it in enable mode for second time operation same like that minus 2 here we have to put it in left side that means it is an enable mode if you are pressing in 3 seconds the data will send to the server continuously here you can see you miss data upload to the server here i didn't disable alert button so it sends continuously alerts to the server again it came If you are not putting it in a disable mode, it is coming again and again like this. Now we have to put it in disable mode. Again, we have to press this for three seconds. Release and put on enable mode. now it is in off now we have to open server we have to refresh this page here we can see mine 1 mine 2 alerts with respect to date and time we can see here minor 1 and minor 2 at mine 1 and minor 1 minor 2 at mine 2 and second condition it is continuous data with respect to date and time minor 1 and this 4 for minor 2 here with this table representation we can see minus previous data it uses as a like log file See this serial number up to forty.